Oh, that's so good. Jesus, man. <laughs> vegan mashed potato for all my vegan friends out there that are vegan. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously, clearly. This is super cool. There's a trick to this um, to get it really light and fluffy and delicious and creamy and all the things that you want with mashed potato. You know, like you have a, a nice stew, but you want that mashed potato with it. This is the shit right here. And I have this special little tool that's gonna bring it home. But yeah, bear with me, power of editing. We're gonna make it happen. So, pot, cold water. All right, my mum taught me actually how to do this. She always said to me, start your potatoes off in cold water. I'd be like, right, all right, mum. Roger that. Why is that? I don't know. My mum said that's why. I'm serious. That's what she said. I'm not kidding. Okay, so I've got a small potato here. There, I'm in Indonesia, so these are called sunrise. Sunrise. Sun potatoes. Sunrise potatoes. I have no idea, but I know they're going to work. Now, you want everything to be cut up the same size because my mum said. I'm hungry. <laughs> Straight into, straight into that cold water. And then one clove of garlic. This is how I get the skins off. Make sure the sharp part of your knife is bending that way because you'll cut your hand off. Just smashing it like this. And then straight into there. And then the next point of call is salt and pepper. Now, this is really interesting. A lot of people write in and go, how much salt and how much pepper and what's a pinch? <laughs> when you're dealing with something like this, cold water, right? It's not hot yet and salt and pepper. This is what I do. This is what we do and then I taste it. And if it's salty, it's perfect. I'm gonna let that boil till they are completely soft. I do not want a bit or an ounce of, you know, crackle in there or, or hardness. I want them to be soft. So that'll take, I reckon, about 30 minutes, 35 minutes. Okay, this has been bubbling away like a proper situation. And Dee's like, I think it's ready, I think it's ready. You cannot wait, it's mashed potato, it's hilarious. You really want this to be soft, right? You do not want to have any kind of, I don't know. Oh, another thing too, never ever ever test your vegetables with a sharp knife. Always test it on the back of a knife. So you know that it's, you know, see this is still quite, a, it's still a little bit, yeah, it is. It's not ready. A little bit longer, yeah? Just a little bit longer. I want it to be really, 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 really soft. Here, I'll put one on the counter so you can see what I'm talking about. It's just not falling through, I've got to push. So another five minutes. And then we want this to rest in the water. This is a very important factor of cooking vegetables. We do this with meat. We allow meat to rest and then we serve it. We must do that with vegetables too. So another five minutes, resting for at least eight to 10 in that water and then we'll strain and then I'll show you how to make really light, fluffy mashed potato. This has been resting for a good 10 minutes. All right. You know, you're on the edge of your seat, aren't you, Dee? You're just like, how, how do I make this so creamy? Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Grab a strainer. I've got these epic little things in my kitchen. It's just great, actually. Now, I want to keep a little bit of this cooking water. Why? Because, trust me. Trust me when I say this. Very steamy, isn't it? Chef, I have a question. Yep, what's your question? Why do you make very little? Why did I make very little? <laughs> <laughs> Who peeled the potatoes today? It wasn't me. <laughs> okay, I've got this water here. It's hot, 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 hot. All right. Got my oil, got my potatoes, got my water. 
got my cream. I know this is what I choose to use, everybody. You can use whatever you like. You can use any plant milk you like. This is what I've got today. This is what I'm using. Now, this is the secret ingredient. This, it's a ricer. I know, right? It's amazing. You can buy them at any kitchen store. They're about 20 bucks. Please get one. It's a great investment. Mainly for making gnocchi, but we're using it today to make mashed potato. So all I'm gonna do is pop it into here and then squish away. Yeah, exactly. That's why you want them to be nice and soft. Because you can actually break the right rice if it's too hard, yeah. And you just keep putting it in. Okay, we are done. Put that in there, that away. All right, check this out. Gonna add a tiny splash of this. I'm talking like a tablespoon. I'm gonna add a tiny splash of the cooking water. I'm talking about a tablespoon. I'm gonna add some fat, which is some olive oil. And then I need a fork. Keeping this to the side if I need it. Watch this. Come nice and close. D, come nice and close. Are you ready? Because you know how you mash potato, like you mash, 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 right? Yeah. What's this? Oh. You do it, actually, and you can feel what it's like. And I can kind of tell what it needs. Oh. Straight away. It just needs a little touch more water, just a touch. Look at that. It's so fluffy. It's so fluffy, right? Can you imagine making mashed potato? Now we have a little taste. Oh my God, it's so good. Can you imagine having mashed potato and having to mash it and mash it and mash it and mash it? That's it, you're done, look at that. How cool is that? Let me taste it. This is how you taste things. See if you can taste any lumps. Looking for lumps. None, amazing. There you go, get yourself a ricer. That is it, from me and from Dee. This is actually her request. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.